Ugh. I've got water in my ears. It's not fun. You sneaky cat. Move your butt, cat. Jeez. Sorry, I was, what was I doing a second ago? Honestly, it's a great question. I do not remember what I was doing a second ago, but I am gonna turn my camera this way for a second so I can go get my skirt. Okay though, I do have a question. So I'm either thinking, cause with this shirt, it has no back, so you can't wear a bra with it you know but you could if you have a bra kind of like the the ones that kind of go over your neck like the shirt that i'm wearing but i also have like the i oh, know i dropped them i also have nipple covers but i want to try the white thing on to see what it would look like but i feel like it's gonna look stupid there it is there's the tag yeah Ugh. the struggle of putting the skirt on impeccable Turn it sideways. It's a little wrinkled, but you know what? It's okay. It's better than nothing. However, is it like weird? Like I did not know you get stomach acne, and I think I've got like, a little pimple on my stomach. I'm gonna go get a pimple patch because honestly, that's the best move that I can make. Pimple patches save the world. Turn it back this way because this is the way that I like it facing. Stay. Again, pimple patches save the world. Cause I don't really get acne on my face unless like I'm on my period. That or I'm having like a really stressed week cause then it'll be bad and I'll get some acne. Like there's like certain places you get acne for certain reasons. Like, did you know you can get acne if you're dehydrated? Cause I didn't know that. There we go, got my little pimple patch on my little stomach. I'm gonna have to turn this heater off. Like I thought I was cold, but now I'm like sweating. Close. I think I'm gonna just put these on because it's so much simpler than taking the shirt off to put the other thing on. the steps back honestly i feel like this skirt does wonders for my butt let me go look at it in the mirror because i honestly don't know if it looks right or not um i like it in its own weird little way i like it where's my light i've got an itch okay i'm gonna go wash my face and then i'm gonna do my makeup Ugh, my arm is wet why is it wet also i did just get out of the shower but like the shower that i did was basically just shaving and then washing my body because like I don't shower very often because it's not good for my hair because my hair can be very greasy if I overwash it. And so you can't overwash it. You just wash it once or twice a week for me and that's it. That, that's all you're supposed to do, no more. But I mean, different hairstyles have different ways to wash it. So I mean, it works with whatever you have. It's like whatever skin you've got is the skin that you're gonna have to work with because you can't really change it. 
even though the sun is going down, you gotta con you gotta still put on sunscreen. Doesn't even matter. It's like freaking dark outside. I'm still gonna put on sunscreen because it's a good base too. Like it's sticky. It's stickier than the primer that I have, but I like the primer that I've got. So under eyes and eyelids. Honestly, I feel like I should morally focus on, like, where I'm putting my, my sunscreen by where, like, I mostly get burnt. But at the same time, it's like, why not just put on sunscreen everywhere? That just makes more sense. Primer. I think today we're going to go with a very subtle look. Like, same makeup that I use every day, but like, subtle-ish, I guess. I don't know. Let me go dampen my beauty blender. Oh, is this my new one? Oh, it is my new one. Oopsie, no wonder I couldn't open it. That's fine, that's fine. Cover up them dark circles. Hey! Ugh, got like something on the corner of my eye. Oh, wait, the crib. It's like I've got just a random black speck, but whatever. I got it on my finger. I've also got sunscreen in my mouth right now. It is not a good taste. Oh, thank you. How's everybody's day going so far? Well, correction, it's literally almost night at this point where I live, but you get my question. You get, you get my point. How's everybody's day going? Oh dear, that might have been too much concealer in my eyeball area, but it's okay, just blend it out. I'm pretty good. I've been cleaning a little bit because we've got like an Easter cookout party thing at my house tomorrow. So I've kind of just been cleaning and I took a bit of a nap and then my mom got mad at me for taking a nap because I needed to clean my ferret's cage, which made total sense. Like I get where she was coming from with that. I was like I told her I'd clean it yesterday and then I didn't because I was tired. I'm going to eat a piece of gum real quick because my mouth tastes like sunscreen. Wow, so much better than the sunscreen. Cool. Oh. Liquid blush. I feel like for me personally, liquid blush just blends in better for me. Phew. Ooh, excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> I look like a oompa loompa right now, but that is okay.
I'm gonna go look at myself in the mirror real quick. Okay, I think everything's decently blended out. Cause like the lighting here is different than the lighting in my bathroom. <laughs> Ugh, allergies. I find it so weird that I, I just realized something. My birthday is in 17 days. Like I did not think of that until now. For literally whatever reason that there is, I guess. blended or not. Let me check. <laughs> I believe that that is blended. I also believe somebody has just pulled into my driveway, so I'm going to go find out who that is. My mom gives me this very weird look. I do not think she likes my outfit. But that's okay because I, I like my outfit. It's okay. I like my outfit even if my mommy does not. No clue if this is going to work, but we finna find out. Oh, dear, that's dusty. Does that look glittery to y'all? I think so. My powder blush which <laughs> y'all may think I'm weird for this <sighs> but I use it as it's like got extra powder everywhere I use it as like a eyeshadow because it's such a subtly pink because I got a new one which I got this at Walgreens by the way y'all like I get a lot of my makeup from either Walgreens or the Dollar Tree just because like I don't need any fancy makeup because everything really does it for me just give it a little bit of a hue at the top see if it'll work Need like a subtle pink. Does that look subtle to y'all? <laughs> Ugh, can't breathe. I'm usually doing eyeliner and stuff, but I haven't been doing eyeliner for a while just because like it's a really long, hectic process. Cause you mess that up, you gotta redo everything. Gotta get the edges. Do my eyelashes look curled? Let's find a mascara. I have found a mascara. This was actually given to me from a friend. You can hardly sell people. Here's my purple version. This one. I got it from her for Christmas. And so like i got three of them. Oh, got a little mascara at the top of my eyelid.
My left side looks better than my right with the crab. I'm actually going to go do this in the mirror so I don't mess up my base. Hey, that took way longer than it needs to. Oh, hey! I need to readjust my freaking eyeshadow. Hi, how are you? How's your day going? I just, you have to say hi to everybody because if you don't, then people feel left out. That's just mean. You have to say hi to everybody. That's just, if you don't, something's wrong. Gotta say hi to everybody. It's just, it's nice. Mm, finished product? No. There is my eyebrow brush. My eyebrows looking like a freaking jungle. Jesus. Pretty boring, if I'm being honest. Long, boring, and very, very tiring. Yeah. My older brother, Lucas, he did this really funny thing where, um, why do my eyebrows not want to, like, work with me today? My older brother, though, um, so my mom told him that we needed more Easter eggs, the little plastic ones that you fill with candy. Um, and so we needed more of those, and so my mom sent my brother to go get her some. She says, we need a 40 pack and a few blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And so he goes, and he says there was no 40 packs, there were only 12s. So mom said, okay, get four of them. So he did. And, you know, the process of that, he comes home with 40 eggs, normal eggs, like you crack and make into an omelet. This man thought my mom wanted 40 
four dozen eggs. Four dozen eggs. What in the heck or diddle in hell are we going to do with 40 eggs? Or four dozen or whatever. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry that you've had to be doing chores, girl, because felt that. Like, are you a girl or are you a guy? Do you like what are your pronouns? I don't want to like miscall you because that's mean. I'm gonna tuck my skirt up so I can walk around easier because I keep tripping on the darn thing. Okay, we got that. We got that. Got my two lip products. This one was actually, I got from, um, where did I get this? Um, Cracker Barrel. Got it from Cracker Barrel. Okay, she heard. Thank you. Girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chores suck. All right, ooh. I used to remember, um, when I had to do chores, and now they're, since I'm old, or older than I was then, it, now they're just kind of like expectations. Like, you know, taking care of my dogs, my fish, uh, my cats, my ferret. You know, those are just recommendations. Like, those are expectations. You got to get those. You got to get those done. Those are normal things. I mean, it's not the same, though. Like, if you have the animal, you need to take care of it. If it's your animal, you need to take care of it. It's very simple. I'll be right back. I'm going to go brush my teeth. Cameras doesn't take too long though, so that's a pretty decently easy chore. Got my power thing wet. So let's finish up with Mega. Oh no, my powder broke. Aww. That kind of sucks. I just have to do this in a really weird way so I'm not like. Messing with the smushed parts. Pat on my neck since I put makeup there. Okay, now body butter because girl, you got to be smooth. That makes sense. Oh, that was way too much. I need like half of that. Gotta get them legs nice and smooth. You don't want to be known as rough, rough peoples.
Got to blow my nose. Ugh. Grody patoty. Get a little bit more. Oh, I dropped my stick. Oh, God. For my arms. I also already put deodorant on, so. I've got toothpaste on my mouth. Minty. Ah, oh, thank you. Girl, trust me, sometimes your makeup comes out looking fantastic, and other days it does not. It's like a total trust the process type stuff. Let me get our weird little pH changing lip gloss stuff. Worst part about it though is um, for my lips, um, I uh, like during 2019 when COVID first hit, um, what is going on with my freaking eyebrows, bro? But uh, during COVID, I went outside to ride my bike with my younger sister and I ended up getting my pajama pants caught in my bike chain. And that ended up pulling me over off my bike. And if you can see here, I've got this really bulgy spot where I ended up having to get my lips stitched up. Because I the metal handlebars hit my concrete ground and then ricocheted up and sliced a little curvature into my lip. So they said that if I could have let it heal on its own, but then my lip would have been deformed. And so they put two stitches in it and now it looks pretty good. I can hardly tell it's there unless I found it out. Slayer name. I, mean, I feel like I need a jacket. Like I can't just go like this without the jacket. So, um, a sweater? Question mark. Cause it's like a cr Ooh, there's fuzz on it. White fuzz on a black sweater don't make no dang sense. Let's just see how I like it. Honestly, I think this is really cute actually. Let me go look at myself in the mirror real quick. Oh, oh, oh I feel like I look good. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Like, what did you do little, like? It's simple, but I feel like it's cute at the same time. It's giving, um, rustic, maybe? I don't know. It's, it's giving a vibe. I just don't know what vibe it's giving. Uh, thank you. And girl felt that. I, uh, my little brother dropped a glass once and I did not know and I stepped on it and I got, um, glass. You know where your toe, your big toe bends? Like right here where it bends? I got glass stuck there. Like I had like three little pieces stuck there. My mom had to sit there and pull it out with tweezers. It hurt so bad. However, I think the worst scar that I have that's truly noticeable is the one that I have here. Where I ended up falling two days before the end of second grade. I ended up slipping in the cafeteria and I hit my chin and like 
I feel like I passed out for like a few seconds because I couldn't really remember what happened after I'd fallen because I didn't immediately get back up. And so I open my eyes and I stand up and I put my hand here because I'm like, oh, that kind of hurt. So I do that and it's like blood's like dripping down my hand. And so I like, I didn't even shed a tear. Like I was still in total shock. So I'm like, uh, a few of my friends are taking me down to the nurse's office <laughs> and uh, I think, I don't remember what his name was. Miss, Mr. Um, I feel like it's Mr. Poe, but it's not. But it was my uh, my school librarian. Probably the best guy I ever know. Like, bro, he's so amazing. He's so funny. Love him to death. And he, like, finds me coming down the stairs. And so um, I'm, like, still holding my chin and stuff. And he takes me to the nurse's office. And he, like, tells me to tilt my head. And you can see all the way to the bone. And so now my chin's kind of uneven. Because I can't feel the bone here. But where the scar is, I can feel exactly where the bone is. Like, it's so weird. I felt that. Like, I've got, um, a lot of scars on my legs. Um, like, actually, like, y'all probably can't see it, because I'm not that flexible. Yeah. And it's probably really hard, but, um, this is actually a really funny story, though. So, I have this scar that goes from right here all the way down to here. And that was from, I was helping my dad get some of these thorn bushes out of our, um, yard. So, I got one, and I, we were putting it in the trailer, and me and my little sister would have to go and stand on them to squish them down so he'd fit more. And I stand on one, and one catches me ever so slightly. That goes the smallest cut, but that thing's scarred, bro. It's, like, this long. Like, bro. It's, like, the, the entirety of my shin area. Like, that scar is really big, and it's been there for, like, a year. So, it's kind of funny, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, I'm tired. Too much talking, not enough oxygen. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna go get my hairbrush real quick. So, should I keep my hair up or should I let it down? Because I, I had my hair down last live. Hey! I need to wash my hair. It's starting to look greasy, ew. So I might just put it up. I'm just gonna brush through it. Make it nice and tight. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Get the little baby strandities. Yoink. There we go, little, little strandies. Yeah. Girl, that is so relatable though. I'm gonna see if I can do like some of the little ones up here and see how that looks. Thoughts? Like I feel like it looks cute. It's giving cutie. Hopefully. I'm gonna go find me some socks. We How old are you? Were you old enough to be driving a vehicle? Oh, well, thank y'all. I think it looks cute, but at the same time, it's because I have such short hair because I keep cutting it. I just, I don't know if it looks good or not. So, I have to go. I'm going to hop off, and I'm going to go get socks and shoes on, and then I'm going to head out, and we're going to go stay at my guy friend's house for a little bit and hang out with his family, especially his aunt, because I absolutely love his aunt. I love his mom and his aunt. They're so funny. I love them so much. They are hilarious. But I'm going to get going. I hope you guys liked this live um, and the randomness of the things that I did in it. Um, but I hope you guys have a really fun and blessed day. <laughs> Bye, everybody.